Hello, Icy. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I'm good. And you? I'm very good, thank you. Okay, let's carry on. Um, first, I'm go we're going to carry on with topic three, and then we will review from yesterday. Okay, but today I'm going to write with you. Uh, we're going to talk about clothes. Uh, first, okay, I'm going to ask, when should people wear formal clothes? Okay, I see you can read this example for me. Uh, well, I guess they should uh, all for formal clothes when they want to boost sales confidence, promote sales respect, and draw the right kind of attention. They should also do it when they want to motivate themselves to get things done, uh, achieve more and improve their abilities to see the bigger pictures and make astute financial decisions well, and of course, when dress code demands it. Okay. Hello, Ni, how are you today? I'm great, thank you. And you? I'm very good, thank you. Okay, we're going to write about when people should wear formal clothes. Um, I see you can go first, you can tell me, what do you think? Um, I think people uh, should wear formal clothes for uh, special uh, occasions. Okay. Um, uh, such as a wedding. Um, okay. Go outside or for a party. Okay, and other big celebrations. Okay, we can say, I think this shows a form of respect for the occasion. Oh, sorry, let me fix this quickly. Okay, when else I see? What about work or school? Uh, yeah. Okay, and, uh, let's and? make the effort is uh, for work or for school. Let's make uh, that when you wear formal clothes, let's um, make you feel smartly. Okay, make it. Um, I want to do. Corporate. Okay. Okay, school is another place where uniforms are usually formal wear. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I think that's all right. Um, I'm going to read it for you first, I see, and then you can read it after me. Okay, I think that wearing formal clothes is very important at the right times. 
For example, like at special occasions, such as weddings or parties and other bring, uh, big celebrations. I think this shows a form of respect for the occasion. Another time that people should make the effort and wear formal clothes is if they work in a corporate environment. They seem to be taken more seriously the smarter they look. School is another place where uniforms are usually formal wear. It is also a form of respect. Okay. Uh, I see you can read this for me. Uh, I think that wearing formal clothes is very important at the right hand. Uh, for example, like at special occasions such as wedding or parties and other big celebrations, uh, I think this shows uh, a form of respect for the occasion. Another time that people should make the efforts and wear formal clothes is if they work in a uh, corporate environment, they seem to uh, be taken more seriously the smarter they look. School is another place where uniforms are usually formal wear. This is also a form of respect. Okay, good. Okay, Ni, I'm going to ask you this question. I will leave this here. You can change it. You don't have to say the same thing. Okay, this can just help you with some ideas. Okay, when should people wear formal clothes? Uh, you can read it if you want to, or you can give your own answer. It's up to you. I think that wearing formal clothes is very important at the right times. For example, like a special occasions, such as wedding or parties and other big celebrations. I think this show shows a form of respect from the occasion. Another time that people should make the effort and wear formal clothes is if they work in a corporate environment, they seem to be taken more seriously, the smarter they look. School is another place where uniforms are usually formal wear. So uh, it is also a form of respect. Okay, good. Hello, V. How are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm good, thanks. And you? I'm very good, thank you. Okay, V, we're talking about clothes and when we should wear formal clothes, when we should wear smart clothes. Okay, Um. so this is the answer that we've come up with. You can read it for us if you want. When should people wear formal clothes? I think that wearing formal clothes is very important at the right times. For example, like at special occasions, such as wedding or parties and other big celebrations. I think it shows a form of respect for the occasion. Another time that people should make the effort and wear formal clothes is if they work in a corporate environment. They seem to be taken more seriously. The smarter they look. School is another place where uniforms are usually formal wear. It is also a form of, of respect. Okay, very good. Do you understand the question, V? Uh... Yes. Yes, okay. Ni, are you happy? You understand everything? And yes. I, yes, I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I've saved it. Let's go. Next one. Okay. Do people wear formal clothes more often than before? 
Okay, so nowadays, do they wear formal clothes more than what they did before? Um, okay. Let's see. Ni, you can read the example for us. Uh, do, do people wear formal clothes more often than before? I think I can say so as more and more people want to be successful and send a message that they are professional. Formal clothes are a great helper in this. They also help people feel powerful and leave a good first impression, which gives them a, comp a competitive edge. To my mind, this uh, explains why people wear business clothes more often than before. Okay. Uh, Ni, you're going to give me the answer for this question. I'm going to type with you. Okay, what do you think, Ni? Do people wear formal clothes more now than before? Actually, yes, I think that nowadays people wear formal clothes uh, more than in the past. Uh, firstly, I think this is because they want to uh, uh, they want to be a successful person and more professional in other people's side. So they wear professional clothes and formal clothes more often. Secondly, they want to give a good ex uh, expressive to uh, uh, to the person that they first meet. So they wear formal clothes uh, to make people think that uh, they are professional or they are polite and successful. Okay. I'm sort of writing in the same as what you're saying, but I'm just changing a few things. Okay. And then the competitive. Very good. Um secondly um status is a huge factor for many people. So they want others to view them in a smart suit or blouse, which makes them look very successful. Okay. Okay, I'm going to read it first. Let me just make sure. Um, do people wear formal clothes more often than before? Actually, yes, I think that people wear more formal clothes now than in the past. They want to prove their success and be more professional. There is a lot of competition, so they want to dress up in a higher authority than the competitors. Secondly, status is a huge factor for many people. So they want others to view them in a smart suit or blouse, which makes them look very successful um, and give them more confidence. Okay, good, thank you, Ni. Um, v, can you read this for me? Actually, yes, I think that people wear more formal clothes now than in the past. They want to prove their success and be more professional. There's a lot of competition, so they want to dress up in a higher in a higher authority 
than the competitors. Secondly, status is a huge factor for many people, so they want others to view them in a smart suit or blouse, which makes them look very successful and gives them more confidence. Very good. I see. Can you read it for me? Do people wear formal clothes more often than before? Actually, yes. I think that people wear more formal clothes now than in the past. They want to prove their success and be more professional. Uh, there is a lot of competitions, so they want to dress up in a higher authority than a uh, than the competitors. Competitor. Um. Competitor. Secondly, status is a huge factor for many people. So they want orders to view them in the smart suite or blouse, which makes them look very successful and gives them more confidence. Okay, good. Um, let's move on. Okay. What kinds of clothes should people wear at work? Do you think people should wear formal clothes in the workplace? Okay, I think that's the same question. Um, let's go with the top one. Okay, because we've sort of already answered this one. Uh, v, you're going to read this for me, please? The example answer. I guess it depends on the position they hold and the company they work for. In some companies, employees are allowed to dress freely and casual for comfort, which, which mostly works in a creative work environment. However, companies in which employees continuously deal with clients and business partner, partners, as a rule, need a dress code to maintain a work-related image. If a person holds a top-level position, they should wear, uh, they should wear so-called boardroom attire. It is a tailored suit in a so Solid. neutral color. Solid, neutral color with a white coat button up shirt and a modest tie and close toe of Oxford's bottom and a, a perfect fit pant suit or skirt suit in a converse, conservative neutral color with a white colored button up shirt, conservation conservative accessory and close toe heels in a neutral color for women. A bit less formal, business professional clothing is just the same, the same speak and span and traditional, though a little bit more blue so far, so far as color or pattern are concerned. The most common dress code is business casual letting employees as peace to their office square, giving more choice in color and accessories. Okay, well done, B. Okay, so this is basically, we're going to say what type of clothes, what kind of clothes should people wear at work? Um, Okay, V, you're going to answer this for me. I'm going to type with you. We can also start with, I think, uh, this question depends on what type of job each person has. Okay, in some cases,
um, certain Okay, now you can tell me, V, I want examples. Um, for example, uh, I think doctors uh, should wear um, the, the clothes that have a big pocket for to um it sounds small. but okay so underneath what must the doctor wear do you think he should look smart with a tie and a shirt with a collar or do you think no. a doctor should wear a t-shirt no i should wear a blouse okay yes a suit um i think that doctors should wear a suit with uh tie okay let's say with a button up shirt and a tie under their coat okay now we say doctors are professionals and should be taken very seriously. Um, this attire will suit their status. Okay, do you understand V? Yes. Okay, Get, um, let's go over here. Sorry, I want to put another one first. Give me an example of a person's job that they don't have to dress very smart. Maybe like a mechanic or a builder or something like that. Uh, the... Somebody who doesn't... A mechanic? Yeah, his clothes are um, are not formal and very casual. Okay, they usually wear an overall. Okay, overall is the clothes you put on top of your clothes that can get dirty. Sometimes it's orange or blue or something. A lot of uh, builders wear it or mechanics. Okay, they usually wear an overall um, that protects their clothes from the dirt and oils of a car. You understand, V? Do you agree? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's leave it at that. Um, v, you can read it first for me. I think this question depends on depends on what type of job each person has. In some cases, in some cases, certain career options don't require formal suit, and and in other cases, smart wear is essential. For example, when we look at the clothes of a mechanic, his clothes are not formal and very casual. They roll overall that protects the clothes from the dirt and oils of a car. I think that doctors should wear suits with a button-up shirt and tie under their coat. Doctors are professionals and should take 
should be taken very se seriously. This attire will suit their status. Their status. Okay, very good. I see. You can read it for me. I think this question depends on what type of job each person has. In some cases, certain career options don't require a formal suite, and in other cases, smart wear is essential. Uh, for example, when we look at the clothes of a mechanic, his clothes are not formal and very casual. Then, uh, they use they usually wear an overall that protects their clothes from the dirt and oils of a car. I think that doctors should wear shoes with a, a button of shirts and tied under their coat. Doctors are professionals uh, and should be taken very seriously. This uh, tie with suit their status. Suit their status. Status. Okay, good. Uh, Ni, you can read this one for me. What kind of clothes should people wear at work? I think this question depends on what type of job each person has. In some cases, certain career options don't require formal suits, and in other cases, smart wear is essential. For example, when we look at the clothes of a mechanic, his clothes are not formal and very casual. They usually wear an overall that protects their clothes from the dirt and oils of a car. Of a car. Mm, I think that doctors should wear suit with their uh, button up shirt and tie under their coat. Doctors are professionals and should be taken very seriously. This attire will suit their status. Okay, good. Okay, let's move on. Um, we'll clear that and let's go. Why do some people like to wear traditional clothes? I see you can read the example for me. Uh, I think it's first of all because traditional traditional outfits are wonderful fashion statements of individuality, yeah, individuality and work experience, which help people show their uh, affinity for the local and uh, indigenous the indigenous people and of course play an important role in the uh preservation 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 of national values and cultures take heritage and there's heritage and the second reason why some people opt for fox uh, customs to my mind is the fact that such clothes are generally made from natural fibers, which makes from which make them uh, compatible, easy to care for, and eco friendly. Eco friendly. Okay, good. Okay, I see you're going to help me answer this question. Why do some people like to wear traditional clothes? Um, in my opinion, I think that people like to wear traditional clothes. That's to show their affinity. Uh, of their country, for example, in my country, have a, uh, a tra traditional clothes for outside. Um. Oh. Okay.
What do you wear? Uh, in, in the chat. I, uh, oh, I'll die. It's like a dress? Yes, but it's a shirt. Oh, a shirt, okay. Um, let's say it is a type of shirt. Okay, we usually wear it. Uh, wh why do you wear it? When do you wear it? Oh, we usually wear it uh, when we have a um, date, like Lunar New Year. Okay, uh, date holiday. Uh, okay, on Lunar New Year. Um, it is special to our country and also shows respect for our heritage. Okay, what else do you want to say, I see? Um. Okay, uh, let's say in other countries, they have different types of traditional clothes, um, specific to Okay. Um, I see you can. Where is I see? You've gone. Okay. <laughs> v, you can read it for me. In my opinion, I think that people like to wear traditional clothes to show their pride for their country. For example, in my country, we wear Audi. It is a type of shirt. We usually wear it when we have state holidays for our Lunar New Year. It is special to our country and shows respect for our heritage. In other countries, they have different types of traditional clothes specific to their country. I think that all people feel the same as to take pride in wearing these clothes. Good. Uh, v, uh, sorry, Ni, you can read it also for me. In my opinion, I think that people like to wear traditional clothes to show their pride for the country. For example, in my country, we wear Alzai. It's a type of shirt. We usually wear it when we have holidays for our Lunar New Year. It is special to our country and shows respect for our heritage. In other countries, we have different types of traditional clothes specific to that country. I think that all people feel the same as in their take pride in wearing these clothes. Good. Okay. I see you can read it for me. My opinion, I think that people like to wear traditional clothes to show they are right for their country. For example, in my country, we wear outside. This is a type of shirt we wear usually. We usually wear it when we have state holidays for our lunar lunar New Year. This is special to our countries and shows respect for our heritage. In other countries, 
They have different types of traditional clothes spe specific to their country. I think that all people feel the same as in their take pride in wearing this clothes. Okay, good. Well done. Um, okay, when this meeting ends, I want to just tell you, I don't know why my computer is doing it today. Um, and I think it does it for Zoom for anybody. Um, they said that you have to wait 10 minutes before you can open again. Okay, so this meeting is going to end now. Can you just wait for me for 10 minutes and then I will be back here? Okay, do you understand? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry about that. I don't know why it's doing it today. Maybe, maybe they changed it. I don't know. So... Before we go, okay, we don't have much time. Let's do this when we come back. Okay, just remember to wait 10 minutes, maybe nine, eight, nine minutes, and then you can come back, and then I will see you. Okay.